Hey everyone! <laughs> like the head? <laughs> well, it's for Halloween. Uh, I was thinking I really cannot stop today without doing also the Titan skin. So I did today um, summoning spheres, getting all those extra souls traded for Titan potions, spending Titan potions to get my Hyperion to level 120. Then I went for the Titan artifacts and that's a bit more complicated how I spent the resources but mostly for um, I mean I got my main five to about the same levels for uh, different let's say let's call it different uh, priorities so um, more in more more priority into the seal then more next afterwards more into the weapons and then last the crowns or equivalent to, to books on, on heroes and um, and I put a bit more into Hyperion and a bit bit more into Angus now Titan skins <laughs> Titan skins I really want to do this today so let's go over on what I have and also things that I forgot on previous video so things that I forgot I didn't track the sparks. I had eighty thousand ish. Now I have a hundred and four thousand. So that's uh, about the twenty k, maybe eighteen k increase, maybe a little less than that. Um, things that I didn't plan. I have a hundred twenty thousand Hydra coins. These can be traded. So these ones can be traded for. Let's take a look. But we can trade them for. Um, elemental spheres for getting more titan artifacts we can trade those for gold we can trade those for uh, sparks and other things like artifacts so I think out of this given that these are resources for titans the ones that would make more sense are the elemental spheres here the sparks of power perhaps because they are connected but this is more for heroes and then the gold and I did some math I'm not doing this today but I'll leave my math and you guys can give your thoughts so let's call it for oh, I'm not sharing the screen <laughs> sorry for that so let's call it 120,000 uh, Hydra coins for rounding and we divide by 700, that's 171 elemental spheres. Compared to the 1,400 I opened just a while ago, yeah, it's a bit eh. Then we have another option, we have the Sparks of Power. So 120,000... <laughs> Uh, either coins divided by 300 gives us um, 400 times 240 sparks of power and that's 96,000 which basically um, doubles what I have okay and then we have gold so one 20,000 divided by 350 multiplied so that's 342 multiplied by oops I messed up my calculation multiplied by 250,000 gold that's 85 almost 86 million gold and I'm wondering <laughs> if that's the best option but it looks like it would be um, a good option to get the gold to be ab able to upgrade more artifacts considering that they cost a lot I think the, m the most uh, cost effective in terms of what you can get immediately would be uh, if, I, if I don't want to be dependent on, on, uh, on um, odds that would be the gold and then the sparks of power or the sparks of power if you need more the sparks than the gold 
uh, but uh, in the long term w would probably be the the elemental sphere so you can get more titan fragments titan artifact fragments so you can upgrade evolve the titan artifacts but i can take a, w a big while and long term might be something really really good but short term it's probably really bad <laughs> that's what i can say because you cannot guarantee that you will get the fragments that you need and as as we saw in the previous video i'm a long long uh, way from from the next evolutions like for for most of the titans i'm not even at 300 out of 1500 mark i think so that's uh, like for example angus here um for four stars 1500 i have 20 fragments that will take forever and these ones they they are four stars they will take 4500 not not close at all uh, this one is the clo uh, no not this one there was one that was the closest this one 40 more but then the the improvements are, are like not so big you can get much more by upgrading a few levels here on on the levels of the artifact then the the evolution itself the in terms of cost cost benefit i think it's more worth to, to get the gold spend the gold upgrading the artifacts and then as you go you get the fragments you can evolve them and eventually you'll end up trading uh, those either coins for the for the art artifact um, for the summoning for the elemental sphere so you can get artifact fragments so you can evolve the fragment the f artifact i think that's the <laughs> that's the way to go for someone who is uh, at a lower development like me um for those who have gotten their their, their artifacts uh, at level I don't know, 90, 100, 120, um, maybe, maybe you can switch around. But for those at the lower uh, development, I think it would be better to get the gold. Or if you need more of the sparks, you can always get the sparks. <coughs> so, but today's topic is another one. <laughs> or this video's topic is another one. It's the um, skins. So skins, let's see. Again, either Angus or Hyperion to start with. And after m some consideration, I thought I would do first around level 45 to 55 for Angus health skin so that I can make him last longer. And then I would jump to Hyperion physical attack or the default skin. So that he can he can um, increase both his damage output in in his main attacking skill, his health regeneration, um, or healing in this case it's not regeneration it's healing uh, skill that affects uh, at least one 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 of your uh, titans and and of course his basic attack which will increase um, his normal attack so. That's what I thought. I think the other options, and there's also interesting options here, like the physical attack for Nova, the physical attack for Araji, doing a lot of damage, and this one, this one's still here, and uh, because this one is fixed, and then physical attack for Agnes. I think it's the um, probably third best option in my main Titans, because physical attack will boost also this skill which will boost the attack of all allied titans based on 50% of the attack so i don't really have a table on didn't really found or downloaded anything i don't know what bonuses you get at different uh, levels i haven't found that information either on on uh, uh, Eurowars fandom I wiki so i guess it's up to me to figure out and doing some some development as I go. Uh, this one also boosts a lot the the attack of this uh, skill. So um, it takes ninety percent of the physical attack. 
in comparing a few other titans so this one is 300 percent so the bonus is great uh, sorry i'm confusing things uh this is health doesn't affect this um this one would but it's damage not a physical attack so uh, uh hyperion physical attack will increase here uh, greatly and a nova not as much you see she only gets 50 percent okay and the raji is getting a um, fixed amount so this skill will will not i believe in, pr in, in increase with the physical attack increase and but it can increase with the boost that agnes g gives because this stacks on their attacks on everyone's attacks so with that in mind i'll start now with the health so we have 7.4 million health for for um, Angus and 55,000 power. Let's start putting resources here. We have 236,000 skin stones. I don't know if this boosts, if this gets us sparks of power. Might be also the case. Let's figure it out. Uh, yes, it's the case. So we start increasing here. And we're gonna stop around 45 to 55 and then we will switch to Hyperion. Let's see um, how much we are spending here. 6,000 gone. I didn't really do any meta. I'm not aware of the need amount, amount needed to max this skin. Probably I might have enough to max. So I'm just drifting on what I can see. So spent about fifty seven thousand and I got forty five levels in for one million extra. And you see it already reflected here. Next step. Let's see the physical attack. Physical attack is now at 378,000 for Hyperion. Now we start boosting that. So it's safe to say that uh, 45 levels will take around 57,000 skin stones. Oh, I'm not checking the power. Oh, damn it. Anyways, I know I know the total power was uh, 215 before I upgraded Hyperion to level 120. And then I upgraded the Titan Artifacts. So 215 then jumped to 230. And then I upgraded the Titan Artifacts and it jumped the overall for the team to 235,000. Let's see after this how much we will we will get. So add skin um, 45, level 45. And now we are 236 times this. We are down we are down to 122,000 and we have spent um, 114,000. The increase here is 78,000. Oh, the next level is a big increase. And now we have 456. Up from 378 or something. And we can see here a power increase by like 2 or 3k. And we have enough for another two titans at level 4. 45 and I suppose I suppose I could boost either Araji and Agnes or probably Agnes and get more health on Angus tough to say which one I would need the most or where would I get the most benefit 
so the benefit here is a uh, uh, hundred thousand more health for one level the benefit here is I, I would say I would say go here at least till level 30 or something for Agnes first because you will boost the entire team and you will ultimate often because he's in the back line right so let's do this here this is purely <laughs> purely um it's all physical attacks for these three right nova araji and agnes all physical attacks so this is purely um this is all permanent uh, uh, oh permanent is is skins are permanent it's not when he activates so when he ultimates he's always permanent so uh, and then you can boost the entire team further i will we want to see how much further let's see how how well this goes and uh, he's in the back line so he's well well protected I think I think we will put here at least 30 levels and we will see so stats uh, 363,000 and reads here uh, 181 let's see how that goes So, 363, and that m that's more than 20,000 increase, and 181 did not increase at all. I don't know if this is intentional or a bug, or needs to be refreshed, or doesn't display here. Ah, now it displays. So, 194 minus 181 that's the 13,000 increase there so this is a, a um, total amount for each ally for six seconds so that means that now my Iberian increases the attack I would say it's physical attack it's badly worded I would say this would increase my Hyperion by almost 200,000 so almost a uh, half of what he already does okay I think that's what it means now regarding uh, the other uh, increases so this increase here uh, 78,000 I don't remember these numbers but it should have affected this substantially given that is is also not that big uh, no, on the contrary, it's already quite big the physical attack. And now um, I would say I would say boost also Araji a little bit. So we have 349. Uh, ah, yeah. Will it boost here? I don't think it will boost this. I don't think it's worth doing this. I mean, I can try one level, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's try one level just to discover that. So we have three, four, nine, zero, eight, one. Okay, it does increase. This is not based on the level. Um, it's based on the physical attack. This description is wrong. So it's based on the physical attack. So we don't know how much percentage. That's another thing. But um, in the end, I think it increased about 300 like like it's displayed there I think it went straight away to, to that so I would say it's 100% or 90% very close to that okay unlike Nova here is only 50% that's what I think so is it worth it I think so 
it increases his skill. I think so. Less worse than the others, but still worth it. So we can put it, we can put in here also some levels. I think we can bring him to level 30 without uh, spending a lot, a lot of resources. And this will give us a little boost. Let's see now. So the boost is 25,000 and the boost is reflected here. Right? So we have. Uh, now let's apply the visuals maybe. Or no, it's already applied. So we have level 45 here, level 45 there, level 30, and level 30. And no level. I think this is the less interesting. So, I would say either Angus, Hyperion, or Agnes, not, not Araji. Araji is the. Um, this skill does not depend on the attack. This skill can be interrupted. Nova um, is already useful because the, the stun doesn't depend on the, on the enemy level. And the attack has a small modifier. So, I think by order would be Angus to get more defense, then Hyperion to get more healing and attack. 300% is a lot. And then would be Agnes to improve the whole team, and then would be Araji, and then uh, Nova. That's what I think. So, uh, question, do I need Angus to be that um, much developed? I think yes, because right now, um, I'm getting wrecked by some teams, uh, by some stronger teams. I mean, let's put something straight here. I've had fights, a lot of fights in the past weeks, months. A lot of fights where I can, let's call it the past week, where I can beat teams that are um, 50 to 70,000 higher power than me by having this composition. And I wonder if I put substantially more health on Angus how much further can I can I go and we can see here I already increased from 7 million to 8 million with this one, 1 million increase and this is 100,000 per level and let's see where it goes if we boost it to 45 uh, from 45 to 55 or 50 or 60 let's see okay guaranteed two more million okay on the way to 10 million health so th this means mm -mm. let's see about 23 percent more health that's what this means now I still have 24,000 coins and few few comments that I read would, would recommend people to get every titan they use, their main 5, to level 45 skin, between level 45 and 55, and then um, uh, focus on one skin, basically. That's what I also understand would be the best. So I've put one to 55, that means I will do the next one to 55, that will be Hyperion. Of course I won't, I don't think I will make it, but let's go and push to 50. And that's it, that's it. Now, um, this is all already a big increase, the most I could do was would, be, would be Agnes, but unfortunately I don't have even enough for that. So I think that's it. Now we can check the total powers for each Titan. And so 55, I think it was like 58 or 57, 62, again also 57 or something, 58. Total power that I increased with this 
Uh, it should be super should be higher than what the setting artifacts gave me on the previous video. So let's see now. So 257. Okay, so today I went from 250, then 230, then 235, and now 257. That's 22,000 increase. That's what much more <laughs> I thought I would do like 5,000 uh, 5, or 10,000 max with these Titan skins and that's 22,000 that means I increased today with these vi uh, various videos 42,000 and 42,000 that's that 16% of my current power or comparing to the other one, to the previous, to the um, starting one, a 19 percent. So quite a good increase. Um, I guess what else I can do today uh, is just do one fight or two to to see where we can go from there. Let's see here the training. And there we have the previous um, calculations there. I can put here this team, same team. 257 against 235. What will be the difference? <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh, the audio might be broken, but anyways. It doesn't matter. So um, on the right should be the team with 257,000 power and more health and physical attack. Or is it the left? No, the left because left is attacking. So um, that's a big difference. We only lost Angus. Let's repeat. Only lost Angus. This is against the... 235,000 team, not 215,000 team that I had initially. So uh, it would completely shred that team, probably without even losing Angus. That's the power of the Titan artifacts and the skins. Look at that. So we have Angus there killed on the opposing, now ours, and the fight is over. And we lost one, one Titan. That's the result of uh, in this case just the skins because we are fighting so let's let's see let's call it here 215,000k we had so I'm writing here in the chat sorry need to hide my phone now we had um, 120 angus 120 um, Nova Hyperion Araji and uh, Agnes right then we had 230 and that was 120 Angus Hyperion And uh, 100 Nova, Araji, Agnes. All right, following me. And then we had 235k, and that was same as above. Boss fights and artifacts. And now we have 257k, and that's same as above, plus Titan skins, that was 22k. And, ah, Titan, yeah, okay, Titan skins. So, that 22,000, let's put back the camera. 
There are 22,000 uh, power increases with the Titan skins that was uh, level 55 uh, Angus, uh, level 40... I just forgot. Level 45 Hyperion was 40. Let's check again. So 55 uh, Angus. 50 Hyperion and then 30 Araji and 30 Agnes so that was enough just the skins there 22,000 power uh, was enough to complete the thread uh, the previous team that I had improved with the Titan artifact <laughs> so that's the power of Titan, Titan uh, skins. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's um, I'm I'm um, excited to see what's the results tomorrow on the Guild War and um, cross tournament uh, um, war. And um, I hope you enjoyed this and that it this was educative. And uh, you leave me some feedback, please, um, on what you think I should be should have done instead. If you don't don't agree with what I chose here and I take the hat off to anyone that comes in and comments and gives me some um, positive um, criticism constructive criticism I hope to see you around you guys and um, leave a comment leave a like leave a subscribe and I'll wish you a good end of week bye bye take care